Here's a question I got to ask. How do I upload a spreadsheet into Google Docs and then share it with others? Let me show you the basic steps for doing this. So first of all, you want to know where you're going to put it. And so I'm, I'm logged into my Gmail account. This is my uh, Burris Consulting at gmail.com. It's a free Gmail account. And then here's my drive. And you can click on the little arrow here and you can see I have a bunch of folders. So be very purposeful about where you put this spreadsheet when you upload it so that A, you know where it is and B, you manage your content a little better. So if you see for me in this testing, I've got, you know, Google Sheet stuff. So I'm going to upload my uh, spreadsheet, which is my LinkedIn members listing. I'm going to upload that into this folder. How do I do that? Go to the folder, hit the new button, do file upload. And when I do file upload, I go find the spreadsheet I want to upload. There it is right there, LinkedIn members, and I hit open. And here it is, it's uploaded, but you can see because of that little X, it's still an Excel spreadsheet. It did not convert to a Google Doc. So I had to fix that first. I can leave that sit right there. I go over here to the sprocket, and, and while I'm in Drive, hit on the sprocket, hit Settings, and here's the checkbox right here, Convert Uploads to Google Docs Format. Now I can come out of this now, and I'm going to go do it again. I'm going to go hit, the, I'm in Google Sheets. Actually, I can click on that if I want to, and I hit the delete icon, because I don't want that. It just moved it over to trash. Let me do it all over again that now that I've changed the setting. Hit New, hit File Upload, go get the document right there, which is LinkedIn Members, hit Open, and you'll see down here that it's uploaded it, and now you can see it says LinkedIn members. It does not say LinkedIn members.xlsx. So now I have a Google spreadsheet in my Google Docs that I uploaded, which I got from Excel. If I double click on that, you'll see here's the Google Sheet that it, it uploaded and all the data that I had previously in the Excel spreadsheet is all right here. Pretty much formatted exactly how it was in Excel. Now, my next step is I want to share it. Now I can share it by looking at the file. I can be in the file, look at it, and there it is right there. There's the share button. Right now you can say, see it's clearly private to me. But if I click on that, it gives me my sharing options. I can share it directly with other people or I could come down here where it says general access and it's restricted. I can click on that and I can say anyone with the link can do what? Anyone with the link can view it, can comment on it, including view it, or be an editor of it. And I'm not a fan of doing that. It's a little bit too risky. But I can make any more of the link can be a viewer. I can copy that link and then share that link with anybody I want to share it to. But if you want to be more purposeful about uh, sharing this, then I would go back and make it restricted. And I'd go up here and say I want to share it with individuals. And I can go share that with Teddy Burris at Gmail. Again, I can make him a viewer, a commenter, or a full editor. And then I can give him a note and say, here is the data. And I can hit send. And that's going to send Teddy Burris at gmail.com an email to get access to this file. Let me show you what he's going to get. Now you can see I'm in right here, Teddy Burris at gmail.com. And there's the email message that uh, uh, Burris consulted at Gmail sent him and said, here's the file you want. And you know, where's my text? There, here's the data. So he can go click on open and click on that to open or click here to open. It's going to open up in his Google Drive as a shared file. And because I made him an editor, he has the ability to do everything that he that I could do as the owner of the file this person I shared it with as editor can do anything that I can do as well so bottom line that is the basic process let me go back to let me close this down let me go back to my account again I shared it from the folder from the actually viewing the file by the way I could have also shared it from the Google Drive I can click on the file right there and right here is the share button and I can do sharing from here and you can see previously I shared it from the file I gave Teddy access I'm gonna remove him and now he no longer has access pending changes when I hit the save button but again from right here I can hit the share button I can share it directly with an individual 
or I can make it accessible to anyone with the link. And when I do that, I can give them viewer, commenter, or an editor access to this file. But again, I offer this, be very purposeful about making your documents that accessible. You may not want to make them that accessible, depending upon the, the privacy or the confidentiality of those documents that are in Google Docs, whether they're a Google Sheet or Google Doc, a, a Google Form or a Google Slide. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you.